week marked two years since the first COVID case appeared in North Texas. I want to bring in Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health. It is good to see you. Um, let's start with just where we are landing when it comes to the COVID pandemic right now. Things still on the decline? We've got good news happily. Yes, things are still on the decline significantly. Still a few small pockets of high risk, but for the most part, this pandemic is going away in America. Now, curiously, in Hong Kong, it's a huge surge over there. In fact, they're reporting more deaths in the last two weeks than since the start of the pandemic. Also an increase in cases in the East, Southeast Asia, Japan, North Korea, Vietnam, Germany, New Zealand. So it's still out there in the world. And sometimes scientists are saying that we're going to see another surge in America later this spring. I hope they're wrong. We'll wait and see. Well, so this, this is curious to me. So if we're seeing surges in other parts of the world, is this, uh, you know, a new ex uh, expected variant emerging or is it what we already know exists and we're just kind of seeing it ebb and flow? We do see it ebb and flow in different countries at different times. Yes, mostly Omicron, still a few Delta. There's some newer, smaller variants, but they don't seem to be making much of an impact right now. So it's Omicron out there. It just kind of moves around the world, kind of like influenza moves around the world every year. So then, Dr. Winter, I'm curious, what do you think about United's move to bring unvaccinated workers back or any company that's, uh, you know, thinking about doing that? I, I understand why they're doing it, but especially airlines with people moving around the world while these surges are happening, isn't there then a threat to bring this illness back to the U.S.? Yeah, that's a real concern, Sonia. I share your thoughts about that. Now, fortunately in America, most of the cases now are milder cases. We're seeing less severe illnesses, less deaths. And there's some people are talking about, that's what we ought to be focusing right now. If in an area, if in a community, a lot of deaths, a lot of folks in the hospital, we need to really crank up the staying at home, the mask, the distancing, make sure folks get vaccines when they will. Other times though, you might be able to cut back. So we're trying to figure out how to handle this pandemic as time goes by, how we learn to live with this a little bit better. A lot of new thoughts about this and more thoughts to come, Sonia. Yeah, I mean, definitely having to learn to live with it. Do you think we're as prepared as possible given the treatments that we have access to, vaccines certainly? Uh, you know, is there anything more that we could be doing right now to protect ourselves as this thing comes and goes? Yeah, I'm real optimistic. Look what's happened in the last two years. We've learned an awful lot about this virus. We've learned how to take care of sick folks a lot better. We're changing the way we use respirators in the hospitals, change the way we position patients. That's made a big impact. We have monoclonal antibodies, antivirals. Those are working well. New pills are coming out, other drugs in the pipeline, better vaccines in the pipeline. Yeah, we're, we're much more prepared than we were two years ago. So I am optimistic about how we can handle this pandemic going forward. Dr. Winter, I'm starting to read emerging research about cancer rates, and there's a, a big link that a lot of these studies are making to the pandemic. Because of the lockdowns, people weren't um, getting screened regularly, right? They weren't getting their colonoscopies, they weren't getting their mammograms, and then there was a hesitation to go back to the doctor's offices even after things opened, or maybe people skipped a couple of years, maybe they lost their jobs so they don't have insurance now in order to do that stuff. What is going on with screening right now and, and what is the push to get people back into a regular routine? Yeah, screenings for cancer have gone down significantly in the last two years. That's a big concern. Mammograms, colonoscopies, cancer screenings for lung, prostate cancer, way, way down. And curiously, well not curiously at all, you can actually figure out that New cancer cases are down 46% over the last two years. Now, we don't think cancer rates have gone down. We're just not finding them. And the importance about this is that late-stage breast cancer, for example, has almost a 90% mortality. Early-stage breast cancer, down in the teens, closer to 10%. You want to find cancer early when you can. There are also some concerns also with the pandemic. Most folks or many folks are exercising less, drinking more alcohol. Those two things may have an impact. So if you haven't made an appointment with your doctor lately, hadn't got a screening, you might want to get one scheduled soon, and you might want to rethink your alcohol and your exercise routines right now. Yeah, lifestyle habits for sure. Uh, but good reminder nonetheless. Dr. David Winter, thank you so much for your time today. Good to see you.